power cord. It's got two ends. One is a plug that you recognize, so that goes into the wall. Don't cut that off. Cut off the other side, which just got the other plug. So you're going to cut that off. And then you want to, so whatever, by whatever means necessary, cut it off. Then I found a, a razor blade here. You want to strip this, strip the insulation off of this. So you just slid it down a little bit. Put it on a table, strip it down. Don't cut too deep because you'll cut through the wires below. So it's kind of tricky. You just have to. Two inches back. Two inches back, yeah. So you do that. I mean, what's the best way? Is there any other way to do this outside of what I'm doing right now? I don't know. Should I just put a wire stripping tool? For yeah. this kind of wire? Yeah. Okay. If I slid it on the side, kind of get it out. Enough so that you're going to span two term the, the power terminals on the power supply. Power terminals, there's a bunch of terminals on this. The three ones on this side here, they're labeled. It says this kind of ground symbol NL, neutral and line. Line is the hot. Hot side, now which is which of the three is the hot side? Black. This is black. White. White. <laughs> Green. <laughs> Red. Green is earth, you Green would hope. Green is absolutely earth. Mm -hmm. So we know that's going to be going you know. onto the ground symbol. So using this tool, slip it into the one that says there's numbers on these terminals on these holes, slip it into the one that says 14 because this is 14 gauge. So you grab it into, into the hole like, do it like, I don't know, three or an inch. And this thing will, put, will cut it and strip it. So that's what happens. And do that, do that for each. Now there's controversy in white or black. I always do black for hot. Let's go hot. I don't know if that's what I do. It's I keep getting into controversy about that. Just, but you strip each one. Now, these are stranded wires, so they're going to have a lot of little strands. You want to keep them together. Here, if they kind of you know get frayed, you don't want them to go across in a short circuit. So what I like to do is I like to solder a little bit on them so you keep them all together. 